doing? Oh, Cam. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's, that's why well, I have Monty's not... family out. What? Monty's oh. family. Yeah. Hello, this is not a spring chicken, as you can tell. They always kind of catch me off guard a few times. But meanwhile, okay. The MTV Movie Awards are coming. Politics are swinging in. Okay, those Republicans might as well, like, go home. And, oh, who was it, John Edwards? Well, let's just say, what is it, indicting John Edwards? Maybe the end of some people. <laughs> anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. I think it's against me. No, well, that is against you in the fact that uh, they're, they're, they're only want, they only want things. Internet publications shouldn't even apply for things because they can't verify how many people they have. So. Internet need not apply. That's right. Internet may not need me. Internet, this is a good thing about a world where the Democrats are in charge is that Internet need not apply for anything because they don't like the Internet. You know what I always find that's kind of curious is that when most people need information, they go to the Internet. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, it's like, you know, here's a statistical fact. More, there are more Republicans likely to have Internet than Democrats, mm -hmm. which is why the Democrats don't like the Internet anymore. When when there was uh, 11 million people that are now homeless and stuff because of our president had internet connections, they loved the internet. Mm -hmm. Now, those mm -hmm. people, the first thing they gave up was their internet. They don't want the internet anymore. They want mm -hmm. to shut down under control of brick and mortar companies. Mm -hmm. And it's official fireworks now need an envi environmental impact review. I know, isn't that a great one? Uh, you know, and it can take, like I said, five to seven years to get a review through the legal system, which means there. The Obama administration through the EPA is going to effectively stop fireworks display city by city across the nation. You know, uh, any, anybody remember the Star? He probably dances on the top of his deck desk when anybody sings the Star Spangled Banner off key. Ooh. And the GOP presses Obama on spending cuts and Medicare. He's not going to do any of the above. I saw the latest thing this morning. All they want to do is to push a social agenda on anybody. They don't want to raise taxes on the people that should be paying taxes. They don't want to cut spending in the military. Well, you know, they're raising taxes on, the, on people that have money by changing the way the tax code is done, so they actually have to pay taxes. And they're the ones that are having to make the tough decisions on the military because the Democrats aren't going to cut too much in the military because by the, say the Democrats are had, got lots of people dependent upon military income. Mm -hmm. they, they fight tooth and nails to cut brick and mortar spending on the military. They'll cut your weapon system, but they don't want to cut people where the, where the excess is. And clashes erupt in Belgrade to protest Mladic arrest. Well, yeah, because the uh, the guy has been in public like, like since the days of uh, of uh, of Bill Clinton, and the fact that they're they're not nobody's getting convicted. They're not getting convicted not because of the people they know. They're not getting convicted because nobody likes Muslims in <laughs> Europe. They totally hate them over there. And job gains help states narrow budget gaps. Uh, which is the biggest mm -hmm. bunch of BS in the whole world. I mean. Uh, like they lose 50,000 jobs in Silicon Valley, add 6,000 jobs in Silicon Valley, and that's helping to budge, bridge a budget cap. A guy that lays off 10,000 people hires 150. That's causing, the, you're bringing more money in. No, they're getting money from the Obama slush fund. Mm -hmm. That's where the stimulus money is heading, is in the states to try to buy uh, their support for Obama's re-election. That's why he's got $600 billion still sitting there. And Republicans question healthier eating proposals. Yeah, because the healthier eating proposals have to do with shutting down every fast food <laughs> restaurant in the United States and putting, one well, guy said, 12 million people out of work. No, but they don't want to put the people out of work. They just want you to have brick and mortar set down and eat dining places in these areas where there's fast food restaurants. And they, they, they said, you can sell the hamburgers, you can sell the french fries, you just can't have them on your menu. Oh, really? Isn't that amazing? But, but here, you know, we could say, uh, we could play the Obama theater with B.S. the Bull and, and Rex and have B.S. be, you know, be a uh, person questioning Obama. Hey, is it true you love fast food? <laughs> I've never eat fast food. Uh, is it true that you take foreign dignitary to fast food places? I do not eat fast food. What about those triple milkshakes, those quadruple hamburgers, the double order of french fries? My wife would kill me if she ever saw me, but your wife sits there and feeds them to you at special events. Oh, I guess that's why my wife's got the ass as big as she is, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> and Japan's prime minister under pressure to resign over crisis. It's not going to happen because he lost. He didn't. They did. Uh, the problem is, is his plan is to <clears throat> his plan is to do nothing. <laughs> Generally, if you do nothing, it's always a better plan than doing something. So. An Alabama town hit by tornadoes bans FEMA trailers. Yeah, because uh, what happens is they know that the Obama administration wants to put minorities in the trailer parks. Mm. And trailer parks are not a good place to live in a, ter in a tornado belt, folks. And AP sources, U.S.-Pakistan partnership on MEND. Well, that's not the truth. Everybody knows that. That's just uh, that's the Obama White House trying to say how they're friends with us. No, we, we basically embarrassed them. Uh, we're firing missiles in the country, killing people on a daily basis, and so there's no men. They're gonna, and they're buying airplanes from China now, so they don't need us for anything. And statue of King Tut's grandfather discovered. Yeah, some winter statues of everything in somebody's private collection. Mm -hmm. Gold and silver, all the jewels have been uh, gotten rid of, but there's statues everywhere, so. And 41 killed in deadly Yemen street battles. And there's more because uh, actually they, the president of the country was wounded yesterday by a rocket attack. So it's just um, like the day in Libya. Uh, yesterday the American House votes that they want Obama to explain what's going on over there. And today <clears throat> they started using gunships on people in Libya to try to out... Okay, the rebels are losing the war. Mm -hmm. So Obama and NATO have decided they're going to change the nature. They have a thing that says they're not supposed to be doing what they're doing, and they're doing it anyway. The Democrats want an immediate pullout of all Americans from NATO, and not just from Libya, from everywhere. And they're probably going to get their wish because the Senate is pissed at Obama. No sooner than he says, no boots on the ground, we've got helicopter gunships everywhere. It's one of them's going to get shot down, folks. And Palin, a no-show for fans wanting Gettysburg View. Yeah, because she, she went on a bike motorcycle tour and didn't stop. Oh. Yeah. And former Google CEO screwed up on Facebook threat. Well, no, I gave you explain this before. They're just buying Facebook, folks. I mean, Facebook is now a publicly traded company, and guess who probably is buying most of the stock in Facebook? Those mm -hmm. companies can't exist. I mean, you think that Facebook is actually worth $200 a share? <laughs> it is to someone like Google who wants to get rid of it. And killer bacteria claims victims in Germany and Sweden. Yeah, and it's now here too. It's basically, it's, uh, it's spreading worldwide and they think it's spreading through the food chain because um, <clears throat> the other countries, because of environmental protection rules, are not allowed to do the things they used to do to food to protect the people. So now the germs are getting stronger. And Democrats off message because of Weiner. Oh, uh, or Weiner. Weiner, yeah. You know, and basically, I mean, we're talking, this was supposed to have went away, and uh, he, everybody, he's the laughing j stock. He, he was going to run for mayor of New York City, and he basically pulled out. He pulled out of a public appearance in Wisconsin to support the labor unions, because they said, he, he, like they said, that most people, under, most people could tell you what, they said, that the average guy could tell you what his package looks like, but Wiener obviously can't. <laughs> yeah, but his wife thinks it's all right, though, so. Officers disown Gaddafi. Mm -hmm. I know, there's no way out of that wiener bed. I know, but, but <laughs> you just got to understand what he, was, what he was showing in his name, so. <laughs> and officers disown Gaddafi as peace bid stalls. Okay, the problem is, is that um, these officers have nowhere to go. You disown the guy that, that you know, basically, you, you either hang with them or you hang separately, and hanging separately is just as bad as hanging with them. And cell phones a possible carcinogen, like coffee. I know. this. They've been on this thing. Okay, you can guess that Obama is pushing this because this is day five of his continually disavowing <laughs> that cell phones possibly could cause cancer. Well, it is now into the Center for Disease Control. The World Health Organization says they're dangerous and we need to restrict the use of, uh, what is it? We need to restrict the use of cell phones to responsible adults only. Mm -hmm. And they'll decide who responsible adults are. And report questions, official Haiti quake death toll. Yeah, because of the fact that they think there's far more that died than they're telling people. And how much longer can photographic film hold on? 
<coughs> forever because you can do things with photographic film that you can't do with uh, with digital cameras, folks. There is a difference, mm -hmm. you know, because there there always will be a difference. It's more the majority of motion pictures in the world are done on photographic film. They are not done on digital cameras. There's a reason for that because well, you can hand crank a camera. You can't hand crank a, a, a camera to use the battery. Oh, Animandi bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, <laughs> one of the things you never want to do is grow old doing a democratic administration. 